Hello all, I am Sukma from Management Tamila. Today we are going to see four important data entry tools in Excel. The first one is Tab and Enter. Second one is Control plus D R. Third one is Auto Complete using Tab key, and fourth one is Drop Down List using Alt plus Down Arrow. Here in this video, we will see each one, each and every one of the data entry tools with examples. First one, tab and entry. When you are entering a data, for example, I am entering a name here, S U G U M A O. <coughs> I want to go to next cell, that is C11. For that, I have to press tab. It will move on to next cell. There, I am entering my age, 21. Next, I need to enter my gender in the next cell. For that, I have to press once again tab. This is how the tab function works. Then enter. In enter, for example, I am entering different names one by one. For example, first name is Suguma. Next, I want to go for down cell that for that I have to enter. Enter. Then press on. Enter. Vina. Now, so far we have seen two functions. One is tab, another one is enter. Next, we will move on to control plus D. How it works? For example, S U G U M A R. I have a value in the upper cell. I have to copy the same value in the down cell. For that, I can use the function control D. One more time. For example, if I want to copy Vina in the down cell, for that I can use Ctrl D. Then Ctrl R. How it is used? Ctrl R is used to copy the values from the cells which is left to the respective cell. Ctrl R. Now we are getting the values Ctrl D and Ctrl R. Now we are, will move on to the next function auto complete using tab how it works when we are entering a long list of names for example what may be the values first i have entered my name suguma then if i start it will one uh, excel will automatically show the name suguma if i want to go into next cell i can use tab or else if i want to go to down cell i can use enter for one more example rajesh here I want to type Rajesh. Now Rajesh is already showing and if I enter tab, it will go move on to right cell. If I press enter, it will move on to down cell. Now the last function is Alt plus down key. Alt plus down key will give a list of names which has been entered previously in the same column. For example, daily we are buying different products like tomato, onion, potato tomato onion potato the next day we may buy a tomato or onion for that we can go for list that list can be prepared by alt plus down key it will show only the list that is onion potato and tomato either of one you can select and you can enter One more time, list using all plus down key, which is giving a list of data which is entered previously in the same column. When a particular values are repeating in the same column, we can go for all plus down key. For example, here we have three different products continuously repeating in the same column that is tomato, onion and potato. If I want to enter the fifth value, it may be either tomato or potato or onion. For that I can go for list. List can be prepared by pressing Alt plus down key. Now it is showing the list. Then I can go for potato, tomato or either onion. So far we have seen four data entry tools. First one is tab plus enter. Tab and enter. If you are pressing the tab, once a value is done, it will move on to the right cell. Same if you are using enter, 
it will move on to the down cell second tool is control plus D or control plus R for if you are using control plus D then you are copying the value which is just to the cell from the above cell if you are using control plus R you are copying a value from the cell from its left side cell auto complete using tab auto complete using tab when you are having a list and then when you are trying to type a name it will show the suggestion from the previous history in the same column so here Sugumar and Rajas are the repeated names so it is showing Sugumar when I typed S in the next column I am the next cell I am writing R then it is showing Rajas like that auto complete using tab works and then now we move on to Al plus down it creates a list of products or names which has been repeatedly entered in the same column previously thank you guys next video we will move on to data entry tools in the advanced excel thank you once again